Once you've added some different slides to your Captivate tutorial, um, you want to add some objects to sit over the top of the slides and explain a bit more about what's going on. So there's different types of object and you can insert them by going to the Insert menu, going down to Standard Objects and then choosing some from this drop down. The first one we're going to look at is Text Caption. So if you click on it, um, it just appears just sort of anywhere on the screen but don't worry we can move it. Um, and the idea that I want to show you um, in this example is say I've done this sort of um, screen grab of the Discover Home screen and now I want students to kind of explore the page a bit more and click on things to find out a bit more about it. So um, I'm going to tell them to um, do something using this text caption. So you can see I'm just changing the shape of it just using the um, drag and drop. When you're happy with it on the slide just have a look. Yep that's fine. Okay so if you don't like the colours just go to this um, pane on the right and um, this is all of the attributes of this text caption. So if I just drag that up, if you don't like the colours you can just change them. So I might go for halo blue just um, if we don't want it to stand out quite so much but I'm going to have to change the text so I'll just go here and this is where you go to do that and I might make it this colour. So I'm going to tell the students to use the mouse to hover over this image of the Discover Home page and sort of find out a bit more about it. When you insert any kind of object you can tell the Captivate how long to have it on the screen for. So this is time of the slide along the bottom and um, this is um, where our sort of text caption is sitting right at the start. So let's just say transition effect, fade in and out, that's fine because we want it to appear and disappear. We want to appear after no seconds so as soon as they go onto this a new tutorial it will be there, that's fine. Um, and display for a specific time three seconds. You can keep it for the rest of the slide or the rest of the project if you even want but we're just going to have it for this one small section for three seconds. So that's it, that's how you um, that's how you sort of insert the caption first of all. So oops, I'll just jump off it and then I'll just check what that looks like by pressing this um, play bit. So it's going to look like that and then it's going to disappear. So that's fine for what we want to do for the minute. So that's just how to insert a text caption. To insert a rollover caption, go to the insert menu again within Captivate, scroll down to standard objects and then select rollover caption from the list. The rollover caption will just appear anywhere on your slide and um, the point of this type of object is that when people um, move the mouse over an area, a message will appear explaining more about the slide. So um, to make that happen, the first thing to do is to um, separate the text bit from the rollover areas. There's actually two elements um, involved with this type of object in Captivate. So what I'm doing now is I'm just moving my rollover area because I want it to be so that when people hover over this box um, on the picture it'll tell them more about the resource. So I've positioned the rollover area there, now I just need to do with the caption. So um, just like before you just um, type up what it is that you want to say about the um, about the resource in here and then make sure it's sort of pointing at the area and everything. I'll, just like before you can um, change what this looks like so make sure that the actual box itself is selected then go to the right hand pane and you can change the properties so I'll change it to match the one above and then I'll change the font as well so that you can read it. Um, just make sure that that's um, format. So you can actually also change the format of the text if you like. 
Um, I'm just going to keep it sort of aligned to the left, but it's up to you if you want it in the middle. Um, an important thing to double check is the transition, because um, this uh, text box you can see is, if you go down to the timeline here, is just going to appear for three seconds. But we want the um, rollover caption to be present for the whole duration of the slide so that people have a chance to roll over different things and it's not going to just appear and then disappear. So you have to make sure when, when this is selected and then the transition, you have to make sure that it's OK. So when it goes to timing, display for rest of the slide because you don't want it to display for only a specific time all the rest of your whole project so that rollover slide will just be present on every single one of your slides. So rest of slide, appear after no seconds because we do want it to be there from the start. And then um, a transition effect, fade in and out. Yeah, fade in and out, that's fine. Um, just make sure there's no, no, there's no audio and that's fine. The sizes are fine. So once you've inserted the thing, um, the object, you might want to sort of preview it. So you can press play, but it just sort of looks like it's hanging out there for the whole time. Don't worry about that. Um, that doesn't mean that you've done it wrong. If you go to File, Preview, and um, Place um, from this slide, so make sure that the slide you want to check is highlighted. And then from this slide, you'll be able to check properly. It opens up. So there's the text thing um, caption. And then now it's ready for us to hover over stuff. So there you go. So um, we we'll have done that correctly. So it's not just appearing and then disappearing. And that's how you insert um, a rollover caption. You can insert um, quite a few on one slide um, just to enhance the um, content of your Captivate video. To insert a button into a Captivate um, project slide, you just go to Insert, scroll down to Standard Objects, and then choose Button. So it just appears anywhere, but as before, you can just drag it down to where you need it to be. Now, the point of a button is that um, when you've been inserting these different kind of objects, um, the you know the the, the person will explore this will appear and this will appear and then it will go straight to the next slide. A button is like a a, a placeholder in a way. It just pauses the slide until someone's done something to move the slide on. So it's it's pausing all of these different elements, um, so that someone has time to explore this uh, slide in the context of what we're doing now and then move on to the next thing. So unlike the other t um, th um, buttons with writing on, you can't edit the um, text by just clicking on it. You have to go to the Properties pane. This is the Properties pane to the right of the screen. There you go. So you have to go to General and then where it says Button there, just change what it's called. So we'll leave the button as it is. You can change the character of the button by you can change the text or the colour of it, but for now we'll just leave it the same. Um, so on success, like on someone clicking this button, it will go to the next slide of the Captivate project. So we'll just we'll just leave that alone. That is. Um, so you have different other options, um, but we're just going to leave it just the basic standard and then um, go straight down to the most important bit, which is timing. So at the minute, it's just displaying for three seconds. And these, if you look to the bottom of the screen, this ruler area here is the time in seconds of the project. Now, don't worry too much that it says here that it's only going on for nine and a bit seconds, because this slide will not now move until someone's clicked this button. But we do want the um, button to be um, active for the, the, the whole of the slide and it's this area controls when it appears. I'm just going to um, change this drop down now to say for the rest of the slide I want the button to be doing its action 
and I want it to appear after um, so it's in here zero seconds but what happens if you leave it for zero seconds is because it pauses everything and it's sitting on top of these other objects so there's our rollover um, caption and there's our text caption what I'm gonna set this slide up to do is um, this message is gonna appear disappear and then there's gonna be time for the person to explore the different areas on this slide so what I'm gonna do is um, hi make sure button seven's highlighted like that and then I'm gonna oh dear, I'm going to move the timing of the button so that it starts after oops, three seconds so as soon as that message is finished um, our button's gonna appear and the people will be able to read the text but it's gonna keep the um, slide paused the whole time okay so once you've done that you can preview what the slide looks like down here but um, remember it's a more realistic preview of what the slide will look like if you go to um, file and then preview but make sure that this slide is selected before you do this um, and we'll preview from this side so then it just shows you what it'll look like so there's the three seconds of this appearing and then this appears click to continue so um, when we hover that a uh, rollover caption appears and then disappears and to progress to the next slide you click here but obviously right now nothing is happening because there isn't another slide so if we just do that again and then insert something else um, blank slide and then we try and preview it again we'll see what it looks like um, oops no we want to preview it from this slide so just do that so there you go there's my three seconds of that then we do uh, different actions to see what's happening about the resource and then and it's moved on the presentation so that's the purpose of buttons and that's how to insert them into captivate projects